Hi everyone, how are you? So today I'm going to show you how to do some binoculars. The first thing you're going to need is two empty rolls of toilet paper. Okay. You will also be needing some string. I'm just going to be using this one. If you don't have string, you can use thread. Another thing that I found that you can use to replace it is dental floss. So just be creative, problem solve, check out what you have around your house and use that. You will also be needing some sort of um, design paper. If you have construction paper, you can use that, that's fine. If you have a white paper, I'm going to show you how to make some designs on this so that you can put it all around your binoculars so that they look more like binoculars. And then obviously you will need some sort of, um, you know, coloring materials, crayons, uh, markers. If you have paint, you can paint your design on the paper. You will also be needing scissors. If you're using paint, you might need water and tape or a stapler. Okay, so let's get started. Just find two of these rolls and the first thing you want to do is you want to attach them together, right? So you want them to stay. You can tape them together. You can glue them together. I'm just going to take a stapler and staple them. Let me see if I can get this side. Okay, that's easier for me and that way they don't move around. So my binoculars are technically done, but we're going to make them look a little better, right? So if you have a colored construction paper, you can use that. If not, take a regular computer paper and you can do some drawings on it. So let's see, I might want to do some hearts, right? So just draw your design all over. You can use different papers, I mean colors. So even if you don't have some pattern paper, you can just use this. Let's use another one. So I'm doing warm colors. There you go. The reason why I'm staying on this side is because I know my paper is not going to be longer than that. Just in case, if you're wondering, that's why I'm doing that. Um, let me take some of these and color in the hearts. There you go. Now, if you haven't tried coloring with markers, I mean painting with markers, you might want to do that. It's a lot of fun. So it, after you're done coloring with your marker, if you just take a little brush, you get it wet with water, you can paint. You can pick up the color from the marker and it comes off. So then you can paint that way. If not, just leave it blank. Leave it white on the back with just your drawings on top. Really simple, okay? Let me get the last ones on this side. Like this. And, okay, I think I'm done. You're going to need to let it dry. And then when you're done, you're going to take your paper and a pair of scissors. You kind of need to check the size of your paper. So that's kind of where I'm going to do it. I'm just going to take a little bit so it's a little shorter, like there. And I'm going to cut a straight line all the way to the other side. Oop. Okay, don't worry, this is washable marker if you just take a wet paper towel or a sponge, it comes off. There you go. To take your binoculars, just the inside the tubes, and you're going to take your paper, put a little piece of tape, or you can glue it, whatever you prefer. Just gonna do that. Wrap around like this and tape it again on the other side. Okay, 
So now I have my designed binoculars. Now for the string, just take whatever string you have. You could be yarn too. I have my string. I'm just going to poke a hole. This your parents need to do, okay? If you have a hole puncher, you might want to do that. If not, with your scissors, just make a little hole. Parents need to do this part, so it's not for kids, because you're going to poke your fingers, okay? Just with anything sharp, you make a little hole, okay? Then you're going to pass the thread from one side to the other. Oops. Not so easy, so you might need to get some parents' help, okay? If you have a hole punch, that might be easier. Uh, here, I got it. And then you're going to tie a knot. If you don't know how, ask your parents. I don't think most of you know how. Just ask your parents. They can tie it for you. Go on the other side. Pass it on the other side. And like that. Make your knot. And you have yourself some binoculars.